lastly, we discussed how to find the radius and the center of the circle with the equations given. So today, we'll be finding the standard equation of the circle with the given condition. So I have here eight um, important example, and I'm hoping this would be useful for you to learn something about circle. So um, let us start. So number one, center the region radius two square root of two. So remember, our objective is to find the standard equation of the circle with the given um, condition. So, the standard equation ng circle, if you're going to recall, it can be x squared plus y squared equals to r squared pang ang center mo ay nasa origin, di ba? Or, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals to r squared pag ang center mo naman is any point from the Cartesian plane. So, bali, uh, given na si, uh, at the origin center, so obviously, may idea ka na na x squared plus y squared. So, hanapin mo si r squared na lang ang kulang, di ba? So, may given si r which is 2 square root of 2. Then, para maging square siya, so square both sides. And then, if you could recall the loss of exponent, if you have a b squared, this can be equivalent as a squared b squared, right? So, if you're going to manipulate this algebraically, so r squared equals to 2 squared times square root of 2 squared. Then, your r squared will be equivalent to 4 times 2. Makakansil ito. Then, your r squared is equivalent to 8 or equal to 8. So, your answer is x squared plus y squared equals 8. So, 2 center at 15, negative 20, radius 9. So, substitute mo lang directly sa x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals to r squared. So, substitute mo lang directly. Pag, ne pag positive, magiging negative ito. So, x minus 15 squared plus y magiging, times mo siya, magiging positive 20 na siya, squared equals to r, uh, r squared siya. So, so, papakita ko lang, magiging, obviously, obviously, magiging 81. So, ito yung answer mo. Number 3, center at 5, 6, through 9, and 4. So, obviously, this implies na point siya ng circle. So, if you could recall, center to any point of the circle, yan yung radius mo. So, paano mo makukuha ang distance nila? So, use the distance formula. So, distance formula is x sub 1 plus, oh no, 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 minus x sub 2 squared plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2 squared. So, you the the um, points, so meron kang 5 minus 9 squared plus um, 6 minus 4 squared and this is negative 4 squared is 16 then 2 squared is uh, 4 so the result is square root of 20 ito yung radius mo square root of 20 from center 5, 6 to point uh, 9, 4 sa circle so my radius ka na square root of 20 so, substitute directly para makuha mo ang standard equation. So, x minus 5. Positive to magiging negative. Squared plus y minus 6 squared equals. Ano ang r squared? Equate mo siya ng r. So, r. Then, um, get the uh, square both sides. Square both sides. Square both sides. Matatanggal. Matatanggal. So, r squared is 20. So, ito yung answer mo. Number 4, center at negative 2, uh, 3 tangent to the x-axis. So, given na sa center, then tangent to the x-axis. So, may idea ka na pag tangent touches 1 point, ba? So, anong quad, illustrate ko para maklaro. Anong quadrant ito? Negative din positive, diba? Quadrant 2 siya. So, kung ito si 3, then ito si negative 2. So, ito yung center mo. Tangent to the x-axis. Ito yung x mo, di ba? So, ito yung x mo. So, ang circle mo, um, tangent 
hindi ito tangent. Sorry sa circle ko ha. Sorry talaga sa circle ko. Sorry talaga sa circle ko. So, ano ang length nito? Center to this point. Ano ang length nito? Obviously, di ba? Length na ito is the same sa length na ito, di ba? So, ito yung radius mo. So, radius mo is 3 units. And then, dyan. So, substitute the value. So, x magiging positive 2 ito. Squared plus y minus magiging uh, minus so squared equals to uh, r squared nito is 3 squared. So, magiging 9. So, ito yung answer mo. So, number 5 is quite the same with number 4. Ang kaibahan lang niya is tangent to y-axis. So, illustrate ko din para mas maintindihan. So, again, quadrant 2 siya. Meron kang 3 dito, meron kang negative 2. So, ito yung center mo. Tangent to the y-axis, ito yung y, y mo, di ba? So, 0 dito. So, tangent to the y-axis. So, bali, ito, 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 ito. Again, sorry. Sorry ulit sa circle ko. Blah. So, ito yung circle mo. So, ang, ang length na ito is your radius, obviously. So, ano ang length na ito? So, obviously, the same sila. So, R mo is 2. Then, your answer is X plus 2 squared plus siya kasi minus dito. Then, plus Y minus K, oh, minus 3 rather. Minus 3 squared equals to 2 um, squared is a uh, 4. So, this would be your answer. Again, this is 3. Number 6, center negative 2, 3, tangent to the line y equals to 8. So, again, quadrant 2 siya. So, negative 2, 0 dito, then 3. So, line y equals to 8. So, dito si line y is to 8. So, assuming 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, y equals to 8. Dito si line y equals to 8. So, pag dito yung center mo, tangent to the line y equals raised to 8. So, ito yung magiging circle mo. Mm, sorry sa circle ko. Again, sorry talaga sa circle ko. Ito yung center, circle mo. So, galing dito sa center mo to this point, ano ang length niya or ano ang radius mo? Subtract mo lang. So, kung 8 ito tapos 3, So, ano ang difference nila? So, your R is 5. So, may R ka na, may center, makukuha mo na yung equation. So, um, x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals to, uh, equate the uh, square both side, uh, R squared equals to 25. Ito yung answer mo. So, number 7, center in the third quadrant, tangent to both the x-axis and y-axis, radius 7. So, may idea ka na, na sa third quadrant, ang sign nila is negative, negative, di ba? So, tangent uh, to x-axis and y-axis, so, um, obviously, ang center mo, negative 7, tapos, negative 7. So, ang center mo, ito yung circle mo, sorry sa circle ko, So, ang center mo is negative 7, negative 7. So, may center ka na, tapos may radius, your answer will be x magiging plus 7 squared plus y plus 7 squared equals to radius mo, 7 squared is 49. So, this would be your answer. 8, a diameter with endpoints negative 9, 2, and 15, 12. So, as we all know, ang diameter is dalawang radius. So, kunin mo muna natin ang length ng diameter, then divided by ito, makukuha na natin si radius. So, paano makuha ang length nila? So, apply the distance formula. So, bali si diameter is equal to, ang distance de, uh, formula mo is x sub 1 minus x sub 2 squared plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2 squared. So, substitute the value, substitute the value negative 9 minus 15 squared plus um, 2 minus 12 squared this is negative 24 squared huwag kalimutan si square root plus negative 10 squared 
So, your D is square root of, this is 24 times 24, 576, plus 100. So, D is square root of 676. So, anong square root ng 676? So, your D is 26. So, so you'll know R or radius is diameter divided by 2. So, uh, 26 divided by 2, so your radius is 13. So, may radius ka na. Anong kulang? Center. Radius is 13. So, ang center ang kulang. Paano mo kukuha given diameter, endpoints and diameter? Paano mo kukuha ang center? So, simple, simple lang. Ang center mo, i-plus mo lang ang value ng mga x, tapos ang value ng mga y divided by 2. So, anong value ng x? Negative 9 plus 15 divided by 2. Then, anong value ng y? 2 plus 12 divided by 2. So, your center is, this is positive 6. Am I right? So, divided by 2, 3. Then, this is 24 divided by 2. Oh, no, 14 rather. 14 divided by 2. So, 7. So, may center ka na. May radius ka na. Makukuha mo na si equation. So, equation mo is x minus 3 squared plus y minus 7 squared equals to this is r squared uh, 13 squared so magiging 169 so ito yung answer mo thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your time aiming high and keep learning